Practices to avoid for a successful software development project. Hello, my name is Azeem Meridia, CEO of Cubic Technologies, an international staffing company focused on software developers. The result we, that we all want at the end of the day is for a software development project to succeed. This is easier said than done. I have helped many companies over the years in hiring top software development talent, and I have realized that there are common management practices that are detrimental to the success of a software development project. Through my years of experience, I have learned valuable lessons that have served me well and would like to share them with you. These lessons have adapted over the years in different situations and scenarios. What I'm about to share with you is not an end-all be-all to success, but may help you stay on track to get your project done. Here are five management practices that you should carefully consider before putting them into practice. Number one, the more developers, the better. In certain situations, this may be true, but having too many cooks in the kitchen can be problematic. In large teams, different personalities and work styles can be counter counterproductive. In some cases, personal personality differences between team members can cause conflict in the workplace. One way by which project managers can prevent conflicts is to set precise, well-defined expectations for their developers. When each person works independently on their given task, it is critical that they also understand how their contributions is vital to the big picture. By setting expectations and having clarity this will keep each team member motivated to be organized, independent, and if needed, collaborative with their other team members. Stress the project purpose and its overall importance to the goals of the company. Painting the big picture can be motivating to a team. Number two, having no vision and no plan. Take Benjamin Franklin's advice. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Having a vision of what success looks like and a plan in place to make that vision come true is so critical to the success of a project. A clear plan maps out the road ahead and how to achieve critical objectives necessary to make a project successful. Communicating your vision and plan with your team members will help you understand which activities and accomplishments will actually add value. Keep in mind that Software development is both a te technical and artistic. Creativity plays a big role in writing code, but often it can derail from the project's primary objectives. Never dis discourage creativity, but instead have a plan in place and articulate this plan with your team members to keep everybody on track. Number three, not identifying low performers. A software developer who is a low performer and working at subpar level could influence the rest of the team to be less constructive and productive. Identifying low performance within your team as a manager is important but can be tricky. Some key indicators to look out for include deadlines not being met, too much reliance on other team members, not being proactive about taking challenging tasks, and finally, lack of enthusiasm. Number four, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Metrics used in software development, the most common being counting the number of lines of code, may still not be the best way to measure output and performance. For example, adding extra non-functional lines of code may be necessary to make the code easier to understand by other readers. As a software development team manager, it is essential to determine what measurable outcomes are unique to a project and are better indicators of progress towards your end goals. Defining success and setting tangible quantifiable goals can help you grow and improve your team. Number five, setting unrealistic goals. A manager should set actionable, realistic, achievable goals. Setting unrealistic goals in the hopes of achieving more can be detrimental to a team. 
proper goal setting is critical to the success of any project. A goal can be dynamic as a project progresses. And if the goal becomes unachievable, it is okay to adjust for your expectations. Furthermore, goal setting can be an interactive process with your team, which in turn can help you as a man manager understand what is doable and what is not. Keep in mind as a manager that realistic plan and goals will help you achieve project success. When taking into everything into account, good management requires making tough choices for the betterment of your team, selecting the best practices that will help you and your teams achieve the goals and contribute to the success of the project. If you want more hiring tips, please subscribe to the Cubic IT blog today.